Hello everybody, today I'm going to be going over TriHackMe's intro to offensive security and we're going to hack our first website legally in a safer environment to experience an ethical hacker's job. This is just kind of a an intro to people who want to get into this field and want to see what it'd be like. So let's go ahead into task one which is hacking your first machine and we are going to go ahead and start the machine. And we're going to go to show split view and here it is and I'm going to go ahead and make this full screen by viewing in full screen down here and I'm going to exit the split view and let's take a look at what we have it looks like we have a fake bank website it also looks like it has a terminal already open um, but let's just take a look around yep fake bank it looks like we are in the negatives which is not good doesn't look like we can do much again this is just kind of a uh, this is just a practice box so it really doesn't want us to interact with it which is why we can't do much on it but let's go ahead and see what it wants us to do it wants us to open a terminal also known as the command line which will allow us to interact with the computer without using a GUI or graphical user interface on the machine open the terminal using the terminal icon it looks like they already have the terminal open on the desktop but if you want to open it you just go on the right hand side here and click on terminal and it would pop it open for you and step two it wants us to find hidden web pages and it wants us to do that using GoBuster, which is a command line security application and the reason they want us to do that is because most companies will have an admin portal page which will give their staff access to basic admin controls for day-to-day -day operations for a bank an employee might need to transfer money to and from client accounts and often these pages are not made private which allow attackers to find hidden pages that show or give access to admin controls or sensitive data and that's what we're going to be doing here we're going to be brute forcing the website pages using a word list and go buster as the program that we're going to use and we're going to see if we can find any hidden pages and here they actually give us the command that we're going to use it's going to be go buster which is the program that we're going to be using dash u which is used to state what website we're scanning and that website is going to be fakebank.com dash w indicates that we're going to use a word list to find those hidden pages wordlist.txt is the actual word list and a word list is exactly what it sounds like it's just a list of words that we use to scan against and if you look on the desktop we can actually see that word list and I'm going to open it up to show you what it looks like and as you can see it is just a list of words closing that out we are going to run this command and it is going to scan the website and see if we can find any hidden pages so I use control C to copy this command and we're gonna go back over to the terminal right click and paste it in if you can't do that, I've seen on some boxes where you can't just interact with it directly. If you click on this on the left hand side, click this clipboard icon, control V to paste, then you can control C, control C to copy it all, and then you can paste it in. But anyway, let's click enter so we can run that GoBuster command. And we can see that it's working and it's going through that word list to find any hidden pages. And it's finished and it looks like it's found two. It's found forward slash images and forward slash bank dash transfer. So let's go back and see what it wants us to do. We will see that GoBuster scans the website for each word in the list, finding pages that exist on the site. And it will have told you the pages it found in the list of page slash directory names indicated by status 200. So it found these pages just like we saw. Now it wants us to actually hack the bank. So since we found this hidden page we're going to type that hidden page into the fake bank website on the machine so if we go back here highlight forward slash bank dash transfer right click copy go back to the website click we're going to backspace to get rid of that pound sign or hashtag we're going to right click and paste again and we don't need two slashes we just need one and then we're going to click enter to go to that page and here we can see that we have accessed a hidden page that the admins use to send money. And now, as we can see, this page allows an attacker to steal money from any bank account. Since admins would use this page 
We're not an admin, we're the attacker, and since we now have access to it, we can just send money from a random bank account to our own. And it says here that that's a critical risk, and it is, and as an ethical hacker, we would, with permission, find vulnerabilities in their application and report them to the bank to fix it before a hacker exploits them. So if we were ethically hacking, which is what we're doing, we would find this page and let them know, hey, I was able to do this, you guys have to fix it before somebody else exploits it. And it wants us to transfer $2,000 from bank account 2276 to our account, which is account number 8881. So we're going to send from 2276. And it wants us to send 2000 and we're going to click send money. And it says that it has successfully finished. So we are going to refresh the page. And it looks like that just took us back to the regular page. So let's go ahead to the accounts and see if that brings us to our own account. Doesn't look like it does. So let's go back to that original page that we were at, at fakebank.com. And as we can see, we are in the positive now and we have hacked the bank. And now it says the answer to the try hack me question is bank dash hacked. So we've transferred the money. And what is the answer shown? Bank dash hacked. All right. And it says if we were a pen tester or security consultant, this is an exercise that you perform for companies that test for vulnerabilities in their web applications. Find hidden pages to investigate for vulnerabilities. And it wants us to terminate that machine. So we are going to go to the top here and click terminate. Moving on to task two, what is offensive security? In short, offensive security is the process of breaking into computer systems, exploiting software bugs, and finding loopholes in applications to gain unauthorized access to them. To beat a hacker, you need to behave like a hacker, finding vulnerabilities and recommending patches before a cyber criminal does as we did in this room. On the flip side, there's also defensive security, which is the process of protecting an organization's network and computer systems by analyzing and securing any potential digital threats. And we're gonna learn more about that in the digital forensics room, and I'm gonna make a video on that. In a defensive cyber rule, we could be investigating infected computers or devices to understand how it was hacked, tracking down cyber criminals, or monitoring infrastructure for malicious activity. Basically, there's a lot of different fields that you could go into for cybersecurity. Going on to task three, careers in cybersecurity. How can I start learning? People often wonder how others become hackers or security consultants or defenders, security analysts fighting cybercrime. And the answer is simple. Break it down, learn an area of cybersecurity you're interested in, and regularly practice using hands-on exercises. And building a habit of learning a little bit each day on Try Hack Me and you'll acquire the knowledge to get your first job in the industry. And it really is a day-by-day -day progression. You're not gonna learn everything you need to know in one day and knowledge builds and builds and builds and builds. And they say, trust us, you can do it. And they give us some examples. Uh, we're not gonna go over that, but you can look at them here. This is a free room and I'll be linking it in the description below. And what careers are there? And the cyber careers room goes into more depth about what the different careers are in cyber but it gives us a few short descriptions of like pen tester, a red teamer, or a security engineer, and it gives kind of a brief description about what they do. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and complete this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This was a quick room. Like if you liked it, and please subscribe to see more. Thank you, and have a good one.